If you want to drive your car around and around your house, you know, 900 miles an hour, oh, well, it's your house, your car, do what you want. Right. Once, you, once you go out to the public venue, oh, that's different. I totally believe in, uh, you know, a, a social contract with society. And, and, you know, don't cause harm to others and be respectful and do the speed limit because, you know, what, you, you know, do it on your own property, whatever you want. But, you know, when it's common property, common grounds, respect each other and act decent. You know, and if you get caught, just say, I'm sorry. You know, give a good reason. Sometimes the church just said, okay, don't do it again. Right. You know, act like a decent person. That's all. They're just, they're just looking to see for a decent person to pop up. But I think you have a pretty good uh, game plan going on there. Try to get uh, it down. We, we, we're pretty sure we got uh, a good game plan going on. At least we hope. It's getting better and better. Like, they're getting closer to accepting our, our paperwork, at least. Um, now, let's say they do take the habeas and, and whatnot, and they want to settle. Let's say we get our claim in there. Like, our claim right now, we have it set for a dollar per second uh, per child. Um if they want to settle and say uh, they want to pay certain damages, but it's not within our claim and we accept that, does that enable them to come back at us for filing a false claim? Well, that's what I want people all the time, is when they want to make a, a settlement. And uh, everybody heard about poor Mr. Gordon Hall, and me and him were like, you know, oil and water, man. We did not mix. But I gave credit where credit is due, and he gave me a good thing to say. And he said to me, when I asked them, I said, well, look, if they want to make a proposal of a settlement, how do I not dishonor my my own bill and my own belief, my own demands, by accepting less? Right. And he simply said, even though I sued you for $10 million, I'll uh, conditionally accept payment of $100 or $1,000 or $10,000 or a $1 million at this time. And I will set off the other $9 million that you owe me to a later date, which we'll, we'll work out and we'll determine at a, a later date. We will come together in 30 days and come to some sort of agreement how the balance of the debt will be ended. Okay. So, that's lovely. I said, that's lovely. See, Mr. Gorn Hall, I used to bash him all the time on his shows. And he, Like I said, he's a nice guy. You know, off the air, me and him, we talk, it's fine. But when we're on a show, he's got his agenda and he's got his shtick and I got my agenda and I got my shtick. So, we, on the air, we we, you hear him cursing at me like a drunk sailor. <laughs> but when we talk off air, we're fine. He understands he's got his thing. He's trying to promote. I got my agenda I'm trying to promote, trying to sell, trying to, you know. This is what I'm trying to do. Now, would it benefit us, Carl, if we or benefit us or harm us in any way if we didn't go to the pretrial and didn't go to the trial? Like, can they compel oh. us to go to these hearings? Oh, no. Because that's a perfect time to, 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 to uh to hand all the people the summonses to appear. Oh, that's perfect. That's like, here, this is one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. You've all been served. We'll see you in the, you know, answer this claim. you got 21 days to do it. 22 days, we'll meet downtown in front of a jury. No, that's oh, no. why did we have the, that the court has accepted, the court clerk has accepted to file our claim at that they point. Don't, they don't accept anything. They just, they just do it. There's no such thing as accept. The court clerk... All the court clerks, they don't care what's on You could, I try to tell people, like, well, look. When peers sit here and read our paperwork and say, no, we're not going to, like, they've given us the runaround for the last four months. No, it's the most impossible people, thing to file a claim. <laughs> I tell people, if you're having a hard time, write your claim in Chinese. <laughs> and I'm done. The court, court can't do anything. All she can do is file it. So the other side will read, I read it and understand it. If the other side doesn't read it and understand it, believe me. They'll ask me to um, send them a bill of particulars and to, uh, uh, explain in a little more detail the claim that they've got before the court.